Creating a KDP low content notebook in Canva. This is an updated video. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to click the big red subscribe button down below. So this is a new video on a previous one that I did showing you how to actually create a KDP low content notebook in Canva using all three tools. Again, it's using everything that's free. I'm only going to do 100 pages. I am going to do one with Plea to show you how to get the right sizes and everything like that. We're also going to do it for wide room and I'll show you how I can try and get all the proper measurements and everything like that. So let's move on. What you need to do is click on create a design, click on custom size. Now, as you can see, I've already set things up, but to get to that, usually it's PX. So you need to click on there and change it to inches. Now to get bleed, bleed is where things like lines and images go outside of the KDP margins and no bleed everything including images and lines and text need to stay inside the margins with bleed anything any text needs to also stay in the margins else it may get cut off so to do bleed you need to add 0.125 to the top one side and to the bottom so on the height you're adding 0.125 to the top and 0.125 to the bottom and that ends up being 0.25 that you need to add to the total of your height so that's exactly what I've done there 9.25 and I've only added 0.125 to one side because a book is closed and it's cut at that side so that's how they work that out so we're going to create a new design the previous video, you'd still do the same thing, going to elements and then going looking for lines. So you can either click and search lines. And as you can see, I've got lines. So I've clicked and searched and then it gives you all the different types. So we just want this one. It's already come out now before you needed to drag it out and resize it like that. But now Canva actually gives you the option to change the weight, to change the style of it and before you could change the color but now you have you can you just can click on it and change it so from five i can bring it all the way down to one so i've just got a very thin line so if i just zoom in you'll be able to see that it's still quite thin i can also change the color of that if i want it say a light notebook writing so what i need to do is take this up now you want at least 20 lines most notebooks are between 23 and 24 lines especially if they are wide rule now wider rule is 8.7 millimeters which comes out to about i've got some notes written here 0.34 inches so what we can do is we can actually go back here to elements or press r to get a rectangle and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag this down where it says height I'm going to make it so I can see what my number is. Now I can get down to about 0.4, which is near enough. And if I just bring it up here, that's going to give me my spacing. So I'm going to click on the line and then either Command D or Control D, or you can click on this little button here and click Duplicate. Actually duplicates my line. So if I just drags that there, it's doing the right size for me. So I can just make sure that everything is out again and then what I can do is I can just group around those I can click group and again I can duplicate and now I've got two so if I just then grab that one in the middle and to do that I need to zoom in so I can see it properly and then ungroup that one and then I can get to that I can drag that up there. And again, I'm going to ungroup that. And I'm going to highlight around there, click group, either Command D, Control D, or click the little button there. And again, drag that down and ungroup that one so I can get to that. Drag it down. And this is all just so I can make sure that the spacing is exactly where I want it to be. 
So I might just move that first. And then I can go around there. I want to ungroup that one first, ungroup around there, group, and again, just move that there, click on the group, and D, or click on those for button there. Make sure I get me near enough. Click there. And I know I've got way more lines than I actually need, but if I just do that, alternate that, and ungroup that one. I've got an extra line if I want it there. So that is how I would actually do that. Well, all I need to do is delete that. And now I have got my note pages there. So I'm not sure how many lines I've got. I'm just going to zoom out so I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I've got nineteen and I can call that wide rule because it is about the same. In fact, it's slightly bigger than wide rule as well. So now what I want to do I, to add pages, I just want to duplicate this page. So all I do is click there and I can duplicate all that all the way to 100. Now, the reason why I'm doing 100 is because Canva allows you to do up to 100 pages and then you can create your PDF from that. Now, if you wanted to do more than 100 pages, you'd have to uh, use a PDF um, merge tool there's plenty of them around i love P pdf and merge pdf they're all there that you can use so i'm going to speed through this and then we'll come back and we'll start creating a cover If you change it to grid view by clicking at the bottom, you can easily duplicate these pages a lot quicker by just doing Command D or Control D. And it just does your pages and you can see how many you want to do. So I'm going to actually go to 99 rather than 100 because Amazon usually puts a blank page where they put their barcode on that blank page. Now, if you do it up to 100, then they'll add one extra page and then they'll add a couple of blank pages through. So if you don't want any blank pages afterwards, only do it to 99. So that's one of the easiest ways of doing that. So what we can do now is we can click download. We don't want PNG. We actually want PDF print high quality because it is going to be printed out. So what we do is just click download. And then that should go. I'm not giving it a name. Perfect. So that is our book ready to go. So KDP has created this new calculator for us. It is both for paperback and hardcover. So if you click on it here, now if you're doing a six by nine, you can do both paperback and hardcover. We're changing nothing other than uh, the size of your cover. So we could do a hardcover here. So click on here, select one type of interior, either black and white or premium color. Now, because we've just done lined note paper, that's got black lines. We just want black and white. Don't forget the cost would be exorbitant if we did print cost as uh, color printing. We want either white paper or cream paper. White is usually great for notes. Um, some people prefer cream for journals and things like that. Page turn left to right or right to left. It depends on what style of language you're using, uh, whether it's Arabic or Hebrew or something like that. So let's go left to right. Measurement size, we'll keep it with inches because that's what we've got used to actually measuring. And as you can see, those are the five sizes available to anybody that wants to do it in hardcover. And as you can see, it is six by nine. You've got a lot more choice if you're doing a paperback cover. So we can click that. Then it gives us our size. So 
uh, page count. Now it wants this so that it can work out the size of the spine. So once we clicked on that, it actually gives us this calculate dimensions. Now this is what we want. Um, which is great for us to actually go in and work out the Canva. So we need to go back to Canva and create a new design. And this is where we're going to put that information that we see at the top for the full cover. So for the width, we want 13.989. So I'll just go back here. 13.989. And then for the height, we want 10.417. Now that's a lot bigger than it would be if it was a paperback book. So 10.417 inches, that's correct. Create a new design. So that's the right size we want. Now what we want to do is we actually want to download the template so we know where everything is, where we want to write ideas down. Or should I say where we want to put everything in. We need to make sure that our text is with inside before it gets the chop off point. We're not covering off the barcode. So we're going to do that. So what we've got here, I'm just going to drag this over to the screen. Okay, so what we've got here is the PNG or the PDF. Now, before Canva used to not take the KDP PNGs because they used to be too um, heavy, too, well, too large, should I say, with the um, megabytes. So you used to have to convert them to JPEGs, but now they seem to take them. So you can either just click upload and then find your file, or you can just simply click or drag and drop and then it should start to upload. Now, the reason why you want this is so that it gives you all the outlines where you know where everything is. So it takes a little bit of time, and once it's done, all you need to do, you can either just click on it like that, or you can drag, and then it sort of clicks in. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just going to resize that to fit everything in. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that all our text and the image that we want people to actually see is inside between all these sorts of pink margins. And we don't want to put anything uh, across the barcode as well. So what we can do is we can start off by putting what elements we want. Now you can use uh, canvas free elements for commercial use you can also use them for pro but i do suggest you check the license every time you do this make sure that you can use these sorts of things so i'm just using these as examples now what i want is a free light bulb and as you can see i've been looking through them now i want this one because i can change the color of this one some of these that i've chosen you can change the color but not to what i want only on certain elements so I'm just going to click on here. I'm going to drag and put it in the middle. And then I'm just going to change it to white because I'm just going to have a black background. So what I can also do is I can click on this image here. So what I want now is my text. So I just click on text. Again, I'm just going to go for a free one as well. So I'm just going to select that one. And I'm going to ungroup that group because I don't actually want the bottom text. I just want the top one. And I'm just going to put my ideas notebook. And again, I want that in white as well. And I'll just move that up there. I'm actually going to delete that there. I'm going to change the background to black. And then I'm going to go back to uploads and drag that on again. And this time I'm actually going to reduce the transparency so I can actually see what I'm doing and see if things are all in line. And exact, you know, see if I can get that more to look like it's centered. So that's that. And basically, it's just simply showing you how to do this. And again, go back into that image. 
and delete the image there. And then just to download it again, click on there, make sure it's PDF print, and I'm just going to click download. And that is my cover done for a hard cover for a notebook in Canva. You can use the same interior for both paperback and for hardcover because it's six by nine and it's, it is the one common interior size for both paperback and for hardcover. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well to be notified about any other videos I make. And while you're here, why not check out the Canva video on how to actually create an undated weekly planner because it is quarter four and a lot of them seem to sell at this period.